What's going on everybody? My name is Ben and welcome back to the bench guys for a brand new episode and the very first official build series for 2022. That's right, we are back and we're going to be jumping in on a group build, something I have wanted to do for a while now. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to be building. Now this group build is the Pearl Harbor group build started back in December 7th of 2021. It's going to go till I believe June 6th of 2022. So I think we have some time, we should be able to wrap something up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the kit here and this is what we're going to be building. This is a 172nd scale consolidated PBY5 Catalina. This is by Academy Minicraft, so it's an older Academy kit. As you can see, it is not the Dash 5A, it's just a Dash 5. There are no retractable landing gear. So that should be actually kind of interesting to do, but it does kind of beg the question of how we're going to go ahead and display it. But we'll tackle that when we come to it. I thought we'd go ahead and just do a real quick unboxing today, show you guys what we have here in the kit, and talk a little bit about what my plans are. I'm actually very excited to go ahead and build a Catalina. I've always wanted to, I just never have. So I thought let's go ahead and just jump in and check it out. So just from a quick glance, the parts do look very nice. Now this is an older model. This actually I think comes from like 1993, 94, somewhere around there. This does harken from the era of vinyl tires though. And as you can see here, they've actually attached themselves to the plastic, which means they've more than likely eaten away at whatever parts are below it. Now, I don't think that's going to be a big deal because it looks like they're on top of the bombs. But if you can imagine the damage they could do, say if they were on top of, I don't know, the propellers or the wings or something, it could be actually a significant amount of repair. But luckily for us, as you can see, it's just stuck down to the bombs. So that's okay. I don't plan on using the bombs. Get you a close up here. You can see that, yeah, these old vinyl tires, they love eating plastic. This is actually pretty common as far as I can remember hearing about an F7F by I want to say AMT that had vinyl tires that also ate plastic so they would just destroy themselves. You can tell it really did a number on that one for sure. Taking a look at the wing section, the wings actually come in three different parts. We have the center section with the engines. And as you can see, we've got some very interesting fabric detail here around the trailing edges. And then we have some rivet details and some surface detail there on the front of the wing. So that's actually kind of interesting. I don't know too much about the Catalina to know if that's overdone or if it's pretty much spot on. I really don't know, but it looks awesome. Clear parts look good. We've got the observation bubbles here on the sides of the fuselage. Those will just drop right into place somewhere around there. That does allow you to see quite a bit of detail on the inside of that though, so I might have to do some scratch building to make it look a little bit better. Fuselage itself is, well, pretty big, I gotta say. Again, recessed panel lines, recessed rivet detailing. Overall, a very nice looking kit. I don't know how it fits, of course, but we'll check out that when we get to that point. But I'm excited, this looks pretty cool. Now for the instructions, we have just a basic fold-out instruction set here, and it goes through all of your basic sub-assemblies like the cockpit, and then the internal areas there for the observation area. And of course, we have just basic color call-out, it's nothing too fancy. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see in terms of detail for the cockpit. So if we can see a lot of it in there, I might want to do a little bit of scratch building. And then of course, also for the front turret and also for the rear side observation gunner positions. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see through those clear parts, but that might be a good opportunity for scratch building. Then of course we move on with the rest of the aircraft. We have the end of the wing areas with our floats that can either be retracted or can be extended. More than likely I'll do the extended pylons just so I can go ahead and maybe do a little bit more action. And then just a bit of sub-assemblies with the engines and all of that and the exhaust and whatnot. So I think this is going to be a pretty simple build. I don't really see this being too difficult to do. We'll have to check out my paints though because I don't think I have the right paints but we'll get on that a little bit later when we actually get into building. Now for the decals of course we have one sheet of decals. And they look okay. They are a little on the thick side and they do have quite a bit of flash around the outside of the decal. So that would have to be trimmed off if I intend on using these. But I actually have a different idea for those decals and that is to use this set right here. This is actually from Wolfpack. This is a PBY Catalina decal set. And as you can see, we have quite an interesting array of different Catalinas that we can build. And this is the one I was kind of leaning towards. This is from 1942, however. So we could actually backdate this to 1941 and maybe we can go ahead and find some reference photos to show this in a bit more detail. The decals themselves look really really nice guys. Much nicer than the kit decals. This does not have as much flash around the actual decal itself. It's got a nice assortment of different stencils. That's really really cool. It's going to help us out a lot. Then of course it has our individual markings for whatever version we tend to do. So that is it guys. I just wanted to go ahead and show you a real quick look at what we're going to be building for the Pearl Harbor group build. This is being hosted by Charlie Mack and I'm actually very excited to jump in on this one because I think it's going to give me an opportunity maybe do a little bit of scratch building but also to go ahead and to do something fun with the base. So what I might actually want to do 
is build a water base for this one. If you remember back a couple of years ago when I worked on the All at Sea Group build, I built that A6M2N with the water base. That was actually a lot of fun. So I might be able to use some of those skills to go ahead and just transfer them over to this particular project. Plus, I got a couple of other ideas floating around in there. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to do some mock-ups and we'll get to that when we get to that. But anyway, guys, just want to go ahead and show you what we're going to be building. I do intend on jumping in on this over the next couple of weeks. So look for update videos coming soon. And until then, you know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool. And we'll see you back here on the next episode of Ben Builds and our PBY Catalina for the Pearl Harbor Group Build. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you soon.